Hello everyone. Welcome back to this tutorial on Informatica MDM Cloud. I hope you are enjoying these uh, tutorials on Informatica MDM Cloud. And if you do, then please do not forget to subscribe my channel and like this video. So let's move ahead. So in today's tutorial, we are going to understand a very important concept in MDM Cloud and that is nothing but runtime environment. If you are already working on the MDM Cloud project, you might have heard the term secure agent. So what is the secure agent and how it is related to the runtime environment? That is what we are going to see in this tutorial. So let's start. In our previous tutorial, we saw the Informatica MDM Cloud architecture. If you are not seen that video or tutorial, I would recommend to visit that. I'll put that link in the description uh, details of this video as well as at the top right side where the eye icon is there. So what is this architecture? In this architecture, on-premise component interact with the Informatica provided intelligent cloud services. So if you are as a designer or if you are as a developer or administrator, you might use Informatica Business 360 or administrator services through the identity access service and you connect to the intelligent cloud services. However, if you have the on-premise applications, data warehouse or databases and you want to get the data from the intelligent cloud, which is a business data or metadata, then you have to go through the secure agent. So what is the secure agent? What, when we have to use the secure agent and who provides or who need to install the secure agent? Those kind of questions we are going to answer in this tutorial. So let's understand what is the runtime environment first. So runtime environment, as the name suggests, it is used at the time of execution. And it is used between the two components. One is on-premise and the intelligent cloud services, that is the Informatica cloud component. So to connect those and to have the communication between these two components, we need to use runtime environment. So what are the types of runtime environment? So basically there are three types of environment. One is Informatica cloud hosted agent. Second is secure agent. And third is serverless runtime environment. You can use any one type of this environment for your project. We are going to see the characteristics of the, each of this environment so that you can decide which environment you can use to implement the Informatica MDM Cloud in your organization. So let's start with very first uh, thing and that's nothing but why we need to use runtime environment, right? So the one of the important reason we need the runtime environment is nothing but to execute the Informatica Intelligent Cloud services. So Informatica provides so many services for example if you want to do the data integration or if you want to execute a job and so on first of all you need to create the task and the workflow or task workflows and to run those tasks and task flows you need to have the runtime environment so when you create the task at the time you need to provide the connection as well as the which environment runtime environment you are going to use to execute that process so as it says, so we have to use to execute the tasks and task flows. The second reason because of which we need to use runtime environment is nothing but achieving the secure communication between the on-premise application and your Informatica provided cloud services. When it comes to configuring the, the connections, so when you use the Informatica cloud services, you have to to do a couple of things. First of all, you have to establish the connection. Then you have to define or create the task to execute the job. So at the time of creating the connection as well as creating the type of task, you need to define the what runtime environment you are going to use. Whether you are going to use a hosted environment or you can use your secure agent which are on-premise or within your organization network. So that kind of connection also you need to, uh, that kind of details you need to specify while creating the connection and the task. There is um, another interesting thing which comes with Informatica cloud services is nothing but we can execute the mapping in the advanced mode. 
So what this advanced mode does is um, it allows us to use some sample data and execute that sample data on the agent itself. So what this runtime, uh, this advanced mapping execution does is it actually creates a local cluster on agent machine. Wherever you have installed your secure agent on that machine itself, it creates the local cluster and when you run this advanced mapping, it actually process the small set of data on that cluster and it will give the results quickly. So this will help not only for your development, but you can do the quick unit testing as well. So this is very helpful feature which we can use as a developer. So for that also, we have to make sure our secure agent or wherever it, if it is a hosted agent then that hosted agent machine or the secure agent machine has sufficient resources normally it is recommended to have the eight core uh, system with minimum 32 gb as a memory so these are the few things about the runtime or the secure agent so as i said there are three types of runtime environment. One is Informatica cloud hosted agent. Second is secure agent, which is on premise. And third is serverless runtime environment. We are going to see all these three in detail in this tutorial. So let's start with very first one that is Informatica cloud hosted agent. Again, it is a type of runtime but it is taken care by Informatica. So Informatica will take care of the maintenance of this secure agent or the hosted agent and they will be responsible for if there is any software upgrade happens or there is any upgrade needed for this agent they will take care also if they need to enhance the resources and the memory informatica will take care of doing that uh, functionality however we have to make uh, we have to keep a note here that if you use the informatica provided hosted agent you will be charged based on from from which region you are accessing this. So for the if US region or EMEA region, there are several regions are uh, comes with this um, cloud providers. If you are using different region, the charges for using this secure agent will be different. So uh, the hosted agent is the, in short, it's managed by the Informatica. And the purpose of this hosted agent is the same as purpose of the secure agent that is nothing but the achieving the communication, uh, secure communication and executing the jobs. Now let's understand um, more about a secure agent where the organization uh, themselves are responsible for establishing the secure agent in their network. Uh, of course we have to install this secure agent. Informatica provides uh, these secure agent softwares. Secure agents are lightweight program which will just run in your network and it will help us to achieve the communication between your organization's application with the cloud services. So of course we have to will be responsible if I'm the organization and I'm going to install secure agent in my environment in order to communicate to the Informatica cloud services. I'll get the software from Informatica, especially for the secure agent. I will install those agents in my network. In some cases, this secure agent now means you can install in your network or you can have your own cloud provider. Suppose if you are using AWS as a cloud provider, you can install this secure agent in that cloud provider uh, system and you can use that install secure agent in the cloud to communicate with the Informatica uh, cloud services. Again, this time even it even it is present in the cloud, we as an organization will be responsible for its upgrade, maintenance and so on because it will be again it's in our network. I mean not directly but as it is a part of organization in one sense. So what are the clouds we can use? So right now there are four types of cloud provided. Uh, cloud support is available by Informatica side and that is nothing but we can use Amazon Web Services or Google Cloud or Microsoft Azure or we can use the Oracle Cloud infrastructure and there we can install this secure agent. Again, one thing to remember, the secure agent softwares will be provided by Informatica. When you install secure agent either on your network or in 
um, the cloud computing services environment uh, it, by default at the time of installation it creates one group so because we first establish the secure agent group and within the secure agent group we can create one or more secure agent so if you are creating secure agent first time it will automatically assign that secure agent to the default group we can add as many as a secure agent to this group if you need to assign some secure agent for suppose development environment some secure agent for production environment if you categorize based on the environment or the other categories if there are multiple departments you have the sales department crm department and you want to assign se separate agent for these kind of departments you can do that too we'll understand in detail the secure agent like or how to establish and what are the commands and so on in upcoming lecture but in short the secure agent is present in your network or your so your cloud provide provided services and then you can connect it to the informatica cloud services the third thing or third type of secure agent is nothing but serverless runtime environment so we saw first hosted agent then secure agent hosted agent provided by informatica secure agent will be installed by the organization within their network or within their cloud provided system third is serverless runtime environment now in this runtime environment assume that you were you were using all your applications or your components are in amazon web services if your cloud environment is amazon web service then uh, we can configure serverless environment again this serverless environment will be hosted by informatica and it's specially designed for the aws environment as it is hosted by informatica this serverless environment no need to configure the secure agent or the secure agent group from our side it will be taken care by informatica so this these are the three types of the runtime environment available in informatica now do you want to know which one to use which one is preferable if you are interested in that kind of information let me know in the comment section so that i can create a separate video for that and explain you what are the pros and cons of the each of this secure agent or the runtime environment and how to choose it so if you have any other questions if you are interested to know any specific topic about informatic mdm cloud let me know in the comment section as well and thank you for your support and i I'll, i see that you like you guys are liking my videos you're providing the comment that's very encouraging so keep doing that and keep watching this uh, space if you are not subscribed yet please do not forget to subscribe and thank you and have a wonderful time